Hey everyone, it's Mark for Windows Central and this is the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse. I think this is the best mouse for creators who are always on the go. Let's take a look. The mouse I use at home is the Logitech MX Master and I absolutely love it. I'll include a link to the Windows Central review in the description. However, it is pretty big. I already carry a lot of things in my backpack, including a laptop, camera, mics, camera monitor, and more. So I need a mouse that doesn't take up a lot of space. The Logitech MX Anywhere 2S is just 3.75 ounces and measures 61 by 134 millimeters. And you can see the size difference when it's right next to the MX Master. You can get it in graphite, midnight teal, or light gray. The MX Anywhere 2S has a 4000 dpi sensor that works on a lot of surface, but it did have a hard time when I tested on a hotel glass table. If you're using it on a glass surface, Logitech points out that it has to be thicker than 4mm. You can connect the mouse to your computer through Bluetooth or a unifying receiver. I recommend Bluetooth so you don't have to use up a USB port on your laptop. You can pair up to three devices and easily switch between them by pressing the button at the bottom. Also located at the bottom is the power switch, so you can turn off the mouse before putting it in your bag. In front of the mouse is the micro USB port for charging. That's a great position because it lets you use the mouse while charging. In addition to the left and right clicks, there are two more buttons on the left side. They're back and forward buttons by default, but you can change it to whatever you want. And there's another one in between the right and left click buttons. The Logitech Options app lets you customize the buttons. In my setup, I have the middle button for task view, first side button for action center, and the second side button for the settings. You could also assign these buttons as gesture buttons, giving you more options when holding the button and moving the mouse in different directions. So for example, you could set it up so that holding the gesture button and moving up can activate the start menu, while moving down hides everything and show the desktop. The Logitech Options app also lets you see the current battery life and create custom buttons and actions for specific applications. All the buttons are responsive, but the left and right clicks are loud. People sitting next to you in a library or a study hall might get annoyed if you're doing a lot of clicking. An interesting feature is Logitech Flow. This lets you switch between computers by moving your cursor to the edge of the screen and copy paste text, images, and files between them. Both computers need to be on the same Wi-Fi or wired network, have Logitech options installed, and mouse paired. I don't really see this being useful in my workflow, but I think some people might like it. Let me know in the comments if this is a feature that you'd be using. According to Logitech, the battery should last up to two months. I've used this mouse for about a month now without needing to charge, so their claim seems right so far. Again, you can check the battery status through the Logitech app. Overall, I'm very happy with the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S. It has plenty of buttons that I can customize to my liking and it doesn't take up a lot of space in my bag. I also like that I can pair up to three devices with it and switch between them with just one button. I still like to use the bigger MX Master when I'm at home, but the Anywhere 2S is the mouse I use when I travel. So that's the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S. Check the link in the description for the latest prices. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if there's any other mouse or other accessories that you'd like me to review, please let me know in the comments. I'm Mark for Windows Central. Thanks for watching.